Hello guys and welcome to Short Cryptology, where we talk about crypto related topics and gaming. Today we're going to discuss a quick message from the developer team, especially from Nick, who is the person behind the game, is the CEO, is the main developer and uh, is the founder of Kingdom Carnage. He decided to wish us all a happy new year and to share a few thoughts about the game <coughs> in this nice article he created where he goes on to again wish us a happy new year and tell us that the team has been growing there's more and more people able to work uh, for the community and developing of the game and uh, like creating more content and events and art and in general he wanted to share about 2021 and how 2021 was uh, a nice year for the game and the community has been growing the game has been getting better and better and more and more ways of earning and having fun in the game has been created which uh, is a good thing he's sharing many events that you guys should know or if you don't watch any other videos, but for example, uh, he quoted the fact that Kino Carnage moved to JumpNet, making trades inside the JumpNet pretty much free instead of having to pay e gas, so eat gas fees. And the token will make it even better. The catacombs launch where the keys got sold and people have been able to run this awesome dungeon and get all the cool loot and um, lesions have been released and uh, hopefully towards the end of this year we we'll also see a new race, the elves and uh, a lot of little things like Christmas event and bounties and uh, weekend events all things that uh, made uh, it more like fun to play Oh no, but also gave you more options to earn during Christmas. A lot of players were farming the Christmas dungeon super hard and farming everything. It was a lot of fun and a lot of people made a lot of money out of it, which was awesome as well. Then he goes on to share about like the Pioneer Sprite, which was a ring which you still can get if you haven't completed the Undead uh, campaign. Yet, you should focus on it and get your Pioneer Sprite before they run out. Uh, launch of cosmetics and launch of like the dynamic cards, which are the Meta City dynamic characters, which are like uh, cards you can play in multiple games, which is awesome. And QR Code Beam, I think it's the one that gave you the chest, I'm not sure. And a lot more is coming in 2022, like... Uh, the token launch happened already but uh, in early february we will see the token being used in the game which is probably going to make the price go up and make us all a quick and nice penny which is good and much much more i have a video dedicated on the white paper and another on all the info we could gather on the roadmap of the game but uh, if you guys want to know just a few details right now, there's gonna be like multiple uh, multiplayer and uh, new functionalities like the scholarships and uh, action nows that will allow players to trade using the new token on the Binance Smart Chain, meaning that fees will go down even further now that we won't have to deal with it at all. Well, instead, right now in JumpNet, if you want to get your hands on J Engine, you still need to pay ETH to buy Engine and then turn it into J Engine, which is painful, especially for small investors who can't maybe afford to pay ETH gas. Then, in general, the game will be more stable and better and give more money. It's super cool. And it's heartwarming that the developer likes and loves the community enough to take the time to share this message and let us know what's going on and wish us a good and happy new year. 
it's very nice that he took the time and I'm happy he did. And uh, if you guys have questions uh, or want to know more, check out my channel or ask them in the comments. I'm thankful that you took the time to listen to me and I wish you a nice day.